history. It's just the most amazing thing. You're looking at books and you think you understand it, but not until you come here, not until you feel the air of what you're studying and looking around and experiencing. Um, Israel Journey Central. We start out in Europe. We visit Poland. After that, we travel to Hungary and see Budapest. And then we're heading to Prague and we stay there for a few days. And then we stay the last three weeks in Israel. I came on this trip to learn a little bit more about my Jewish heritage, to see the contrast between how the Jews lived and how free we are as a religion today. I feel like everyone chooses to go to Western Europe countries and I would rather try something new. We start off in Poland. We visited numerous synagogues of what Poland looked like before the Holocaust because it was really the center of Jewry 60 to 70 years ago. We visited concentration camps. For me, Poland was really a learning experience, but also an emotional experience. In Poland, the theme is to look at how Judaism was in its worst era. Some of the things we saw were awful, but I think you have to see them in your lifetime as a Jew. I think it's really important. Then we go to Budapest. The architecture is absolutely stunning. These buildings are so old, and I just feel so amazing that I get to see it. I feel like I'm in this other time. After that, we traveled to Prague. We saw the Jewish Quarter. In Prague, there were castles and like beautiful monuments. We also visited an astronomical clock tower. Walking around, checking out Prague, I can't stop taking pictures because everything here is just so beautiful. We're able to see kind of life before we had a Jewish homeland. After that, we travel to Israel. I think Europe was a really nice choice right before Israel. It just makes it one heck of a trip because you have the lows and then you have the highs. And it just makes it really interesting and really beautiful. Wow. To finally land in Israel was amazing. Everybody was clapping, cheering, applauding. Like, it was just like, wow, I'm finally here. We started in Jerusalem. You see the old city, you go to the hotel, it's really amazing. And then we moved our way up north. We bike, hiked, and rafted the Jordan River, and then we made our way down to the Negev Desert. We stayed in the Bedouin tents. And we rode camels. We went to Masada, which was on top of a mountain. We woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, we hiked it, saw the sunrise. Greatest experience of my life. From there, we went to the Dead Sea. You walk in, you're about a foot deep in the water, you lay back, and all of a sudden you're just floating in the Dead Sea. And then we made our way south. We went to Eilat, which is one of the most beautiful places. Eilat, we went snorkeling. I saw a lot of fish, saw a lot of coral reefs. Israel is three weeks of summer fun, the heat is amazing, and you're just celebrating freedom, and it's great. It's really cool to spend this trip with other kids my age. This is the first time I've met these people, and it's really cool to experience it with other kids you don't know. You come into the airport and you meet these people, and I was instantly friends with all of them. I came here knowing no one. We all just became best friends, and we're gonna be best friends for life. I think people should come on this trip because it is the perfect cross between this educational journey where you're understanding Jewish history and celebrating Israel. And I don't think there's any better time in the world to go than when you're a teenager. It's a chance to make yourself grow and to be able to meet new friends. I am so glad I took this trip. This is a big adventure.